If your organization is considering hiring a professional Wikipedia facilitator, it's helpful to do some strategic planning to make sure that you achieve your goals and get the most value and impact out of your Wikipedia appointment. Wikipedia is a lot of things. It's a communication channel, it's a media repository, it's a virtual space where people can meet and collaborate. Wikipedia itself is a knowledge repository worthy as a target of research itself. How do you do? My name is Lane Raspberry. I'm weak comedian in residence at the School of Data Science at the University of Virginia. At my university, I assist researchers, students, and faculty in achieving their goals through Wikipedia. I'm going to describe what professional Wikipedians such as myself do in institutional appointments. As you're planning your Wikipedia position, I suggest to you that if you put some activities into each of these buckets and talk them over with the Wikipedian who you hire for the job, then you'll have smoother communication and be more clear about what you're trying to achieve. The first category of activity that I'm going to describe is communication impact. This is what most organizations want from Wikipedia. Wikipedia is an extremely popular source of information. If you put your knowledge and expertise into relevant Wikipedia articles, then the people who are already reading those articles will find your content and you will achieve communication impact that you can measure and consider through Wikipedia's own communication metrics. So in this game, there's such a thing as a communication professional. These are the people who publish websites or publish social media accounts, and as they're distributing their content, they track how many people are reading the website or how many people are engaging in social media. Comparable to this, Wikipedia has different metrics, page views and other things, where if you put your content into Wikipedia articles, then you can track how many views, how many people are accessing this content after the time in which you put it in. So at my university, we have experts in all sorts of fields of study. Re professional researchers may not be communication or media professionals, but if they take their research papers or take their research findings and work with a Wikipedia editor to put that research into relevant Wikipedia articles in the field of their research, then in that way they're going to reach students, the public, policymakers, anyone who's looking for that kind of information will find it when they go to Wikipedia. And we can track how many people are reading that and report that as research and communication outcomes for the project. The second thing that Wikipedians do is facilitate Wikipedia as a media repository. Wikipedia accepts media uploads of all, all types. Of course, people can type text into Wikipedia articles and edit the Wikipedia articles, but if you're a library with a special collection, you either have documents, or if you're a museum and you've got artwork, or if you're any kind of organization and you've got a structured data set that you want to share with other people in your field, then Wikipedia can be a repository for hosting these things in its highly accessible, highly interoperable web platform so that other researchers in the fields can access these kinds of data sets and media resources and your organization can get credit for distributing them through Wikipedia. There's different complementary projects to the familiar Wikipedia encyclopedia. There's also something called Wikimedia Commons, which is a non-text media repository for storing images and audio files and videos. There's something called Wikisource, which is where the Wiki community curates document archives. So if you have text documents, you can share these in, in Wikisource. Finally, there's Wikidata, which is a structured data complement converting the information in Wikipedia into linked open data, and it also accepts different kinds of data sets itself. What's interesting about all these projects is that they're so popular, they're so reused by so many different platforms online, that if you put your content into these platforms, all sorts of people will be using them for years. The major reason why people hesitate to engage with these platforms is that these platforms, like everything in the Wikipedia ecosystem, they're free and open content, they require free and open copyright licenses. So the only content which is acceptable to put in here is content which you're comfortable allowing anyone to reuse, remix, or redistribute as they like. These kind of Wikipedia relationships work well with museums and archives that engage with content that's in the public domain or that already has free licenses. If you put your content into Wikipedia, that's no guarantee that it's going to reach a large audience. It's also helpful to do some kind of communication facilitation, but I say that media archiving is one activity and communication 
impact is another activity because these are different workflows. The expertise is a bit different. A Wikipedia facilitator can help you with both, but of course, time spent doing one is time not spent doing the other. So set your goals accordingly. The third thing that I'm going to tell you about is that Wikipedia is a virtual space where people can meet and people can collaborate and perhaps some crowdsourcing can happen. There's a custom in the Wikipedia platform and in the Wikipedia community of doing Wikipedia editing parties. These are Wikipedia get-togethers, sometimes called edit-a-thons, where an organization will share its expertise, perhaps in person, perhaps in a virtual meetup. They'll take uh, pages of documents or collections of media files, give them to a group of people who meet. These people are having a social activity, they're volunteers. Perhaps they're invited into the organization in the way that a group of people might be invited into a library for a special presentation and engagement with special collections. And these people will collectively edit Wikipedia articles or Wikipedia media collections in a way that's fun for them and beneficial for the organization. And that also has the effect of sharing this information with Wikipedia readers. The advantages of doing this is that organizations can begin to build a virtual community or they can develop the virtual community that they already have. People who participate in Wikipedia projects tend to say that this was a fun thing to do. When they go into Wikipedia, they meet other like-minded people who want to talk about a particular topic, the theme, the theme of the event, and they feel like they're doing something beneficial for the public. And indeed, this is why people edit Wikipedia anyway, to take information that's important to them and then to share it with broader audiences. I say that community organization is a bit different from communication impact and it's a bit different from working with media repositories because event organization, again, is a separate skill set from these things. And although it seems useful to pull in a group of people, do some crowdsourcing, everybody kicks in a bit of volunteer labor and collectively people accomplish things. But if you add up the hours of event organization, it's even though people are volunteering, it's not as if you get this entirely for free. Somebody has to organize the event and make sure the volunteers are happy. And depending on the size of the event and the kind of activity that you're organizing, it may be more impactful to just have one paid Wikipedia facilitator focus on getting communication impact rather than having that Wikipedia facilitator try to do event organization and get a lot of people to participate, each of them doing a little bit of communication. You can decide what's right for your organization. There's no one certain way to achieve the most impact. It depends on what your goals are. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is Wikipedia as being worthy as a target of research in itself. I'm at a university and different students and faculty sometimes want general reference information in a particular field of study. Wikipedia is a free and open platform. Anyone can export any of its text or images or data, data collections, and they can use these outside of Wikipedia. They've already got copyright permission for this, and Wikipedia makes it easy to do data export. If there's a research project which needs the kind of expertise that Wikipedia holds, then anyone can take that out. They don't need to engage with Wikipedia at all except to export, and they can do whatever they want with the information, including republishing it, remixing it, using it however they want. There's different reasons why somebody might want a general reference collection of information and use Wikipedia to get it. And if anybody needs large collections over a field of, of study, then uh, having a professional Wikipedia to facilitate that can be helpful to save everyone's time. Otherwise, you're scrambling around the platform, wondering how to get the content out that you want and wondering if you've found everything. Getting professional consultation helps. Thanks for your consideration in hiring a Wikipedia. And if you want to know more, then talk with someone who's had a Wikipedia, Wikipedia in position in a professional capacity at some organization. I am happy to talk. If you want to talk to me, come post to the Wikipedians in Residence Exchange Network. This is our community within the Wikimedia platform. If you look it up, you'll find it. I'm there, other people are there. Post questions to our talk page, or if you like, just reach out to me directly. Again, thanks for your interest in hiring a Wikipedian.